pieces that I have. Sure. Um, I, I would say it's probably my my Tandy one thousand that that I that I've got. It took me the longest to get. I was probably looking for maybe like eighteen months trying to get uh, a Tandy one thousand. Um, either there was no shipping, or the shipping was too much, or you know something like that. But I finally found one, and I uh, got it shipped up to me, and uh, unbelievably it worked because it was untested as well. Uh, the, the kid selling it uh, didn't know much about it. it; was his father's or something like that. He found it in the attic after his dad had passed, I guess. Um, so I think it cost me about a hundred and ten dollars shipped up to that, up, up to. That's Erie. not bad. That's not bad at all. <laughs> no, that was that was pretty good. So I um, hooked it up and uh, it had a hard card. Of course, that didn't work. Um, but it had the 640k memory, and uh, I had to do a little bit with the uh, with the video um, because the composite is just awful on the yeah. on the candies. And I didn't have an RBG uh, uh, monitor or anything I could hook that up to. So I had to get so it. So what, what model 1000 is it? Is it like HX, EX, SL or whatever? There, there's a bunch of different models, right? Yeah, yeah there is. This one is a Tandy 1000. Um, I think it's a Tandy 1000A, even though it doesn't okay. say that on it, because it has the um, it has the socket for the coprocessor. Which I yeah. think the, one, the original 1000s, I don't think had that. So I think it is a 1000A, but it doesn't gotcha. say that on it. And that's a tower, right? Because I have a, a 1000HX that's in the wedge form, like it's all built into one. But the one you have is a tower, or not a tower, but a pizza box style. Or Yeah, like... it's the old, it's an old desktop that reminds me of my 486. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's big. It's a monster. The monitor fits and, on and, top of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that one has an eighty eighty eight. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I do have. I do have a. a, a Was it the VC 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 twenty chip for it though that I'm going to install, which will speed it up a little bit, about twenty percent maybe faster. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't put that in yet, but I, I got that from New Zealand. Actually, <laughs> I sent it from there. And does that one have, like you said, the, yeah, I think you said the hard drive card didn't work in it. Did you get a replacement? I got an, uh, a, a compact flash. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That, yeah. That's wonderful. So you have basically just, you have, it's a, if it's an 8088, you probably just have some version of DOS on there, right? Have you been playing any games on it? Um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got like seven or eight on the on the compact flash at present. I got more downloaded to the PC that I haven't transferred over. Um, I got like Defender of the Crown, which is one of my favorites, and then there's yeah. like Railroad Tycoon is on there. Um, maybe Eye of the Beholder, uh, old TS uh, TSR game. Um, so I think those are those are basically on there. Um, yeah, and it and just was the DOS version. Yeah. And so your graphics, if that, if I remember right on that are CGA, is that right? Like pretty much CGA four color. Yeah. Yeah. They're the that's old, not right. That's awesome. <laughs> they're the old CGA graphics and you have the, uh, the color, uh, the color palette, <laughs> the pink color palette or the green one or whatever. Um, now, were you surprised or disappointed when, when, when you opened the box of its condition? Cause that's always a surprise for me because pictures tend to not really do these kind of things justice. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I was pleasantly surprised that the unit worked. Uh, yeah. And it, it was, it pretty much looked like the picture. It was a bit dirtier than, than it kind of showed up on the, um, uh, on the uh, pictures on eBay, but um, I, it cleaned up real nice. It wasn't a, wasn't a big issue. It was that's good. So it's in pretty good shape. Now, what monitor are you using with it? Did you get some sort of modern solution, or are you just using a good old fashioned CRT? No, no, no. I I I have a uh, uh, a television like an HDMI, 
a uh, small okay. TV that I have, and I have a converter that takes the CGA and converts it into the um, into the VGA because there's a VGA port on that TV. So oh, it good. Runs through the VGA port. Yeah. And does it look pretty good? Oh yeah, it looks sharp. Yeah, it looks it looks good. It does a good now job. Now that that's great. Now that model has slots in it, right? ISA slots. It does. Um, what do you have? It. What do you have? Do you have any cards in it other than the CF card? For the CF card, um, there's an Ethernet card in it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> have you tried? You probably haven't tried getting that to work. I, I have not tried getting that to work, but there is a there is an Ethernet card in there. There was a hard card, an Ethernet card, um, and then there was like there's an expansion RAM in there in there too. So I okay. I, I removed the hard card and. Uh, and I put in the the compact flash. I never took out the Ethernet card, but I haven't used it either. Yeah. Now, what is it? Just using the basic speaker sound, like there's a speaker built into it, or do you have a sound card in it? No, there. It has Tandy sound, I think. So. Oh, okay, okay. So that's built yeah. in the motherboard. Yeah, but um, some of the games don't take advantage of that, so they just come sure. out on the speaker. That's you right, because there were Tandy versions of games that, yeah. like, that Radio Shack actually made a deal with or something to make the games have special support for what, what Tandy brought to the table, the extra memory or the or the music or whatever, right? That's right. It was a PC, essentially it was a PC junior color and sound that they put into there. So there are, there's maybe one game on there that takes advantage of the of the sound. I can't remember which one it is, and it's a big difference. But like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because even the Tandy Wedge that I have, the Tandy One Thousand, it has enhanced sound, so that sounds a lot better than if it was just a uh, the beeps and bloops from the PC yeah. speaker. That's I really, awesome. I didn't know that. The, I'm, I'm not familiar with the the One Thousands that weren't the Wedge style computers. So that's that's pretty interesting stuff. So do you keep that hooked up all the time, um, or like to the, to a TV, or do you pull it out just on special occasions? No, I've got it hooked. I've got it hooked up in the bedroom. Um, I had it down because I was gonna open it up and uh, put in my uh, my new processor, and I was gonna. The disk drive isn't. I don't know if the disk drive's working. I cleaned it somewhat, and I got to see if it works, or if not, I got other disk drives I can swap out. I got some half heights I can swap out uh, for this one that's in there. Um, so I, but it's set. It's set back up yet. Yeah. It's in, it's in the... Awesome. Well, that sounds awesome. That's that's a great. I'm glad to see PC represented in the in the crown jewel picks. Um, do you have a runner up that you have? Um, I mean, probably the one I play the most is the Commodore 64. But um, you know, one of the hardest ones. Another one that I took me a long time to get was my Atari, uh, my Atari XL, and that was like some collector. So that one is like it's in its own box and it has the number on the box that matches the number on the computer. And yeah. it, it really required nothing, you know, like when you got the Commodore, I had to clean it and, and do things to it and everything. This sucker was pristine. Then it came, it was like 150 bucks and some guy died and they were selling off his collection and, and it came, wow. it came in the original box for the Atari X800 XL. <laughs> So is it the 800 or 1200? It's the 800 XL. Which is the best to get, I think. I mean, I think a boat on a, the Amigos will disagree with me, but I think the 800 is the best because it's, it's so easy to upgrade and there's all sorts of things you can do with it. It's awesome. Yeah, and it was perfect. It's like in perfect condition. You didn't have to clean it. You didn't have to do anything. That dude did everything for you. So like it came, you just plugged it in and it worked. Right on. Do you have a peripheral with that with that one, like the FujiNet or the um, what, what is it? What is the Atari little SD card solution? I, I have one. I bought mine from Lotharec, but I don't remember what it was. What it's called? I have the FujiNet, but I don't have it. I haven't hooked it up yet because oh, okay. I, just, I just got that maybe a month ago, and the Atari's in the box, so I I didn't I haven't pulled it out and set the Atari up to to do the FujiNet. Yeah. But you, but I do yeah, you got to do that. Fujinet's brilliant. I was lucky enough to be on the beta test team. So I had all, I got all these funky versions of it. The hardware wise, I got one looked like a candy bar until they finally came out with the one that sits kind of flush with the machine. And 
that thing will do everything. It's a Swiss Army knife for the Atari 8-bit line. That thing does everything. You're going to really enjoy that. It makes it really easy, too. Yeah, it look, from the videos, it looks really looks really good, you know. Yeah. Um, awesome. Well, thank you for uh, telling us your uh, crown jewels of your collection. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see it real quick before it goes. Sure. Just, uh, Absolutely. The, the machine. You got a picture of it there yet? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Monitor sits right on there. It, those look so much better, I think, than the original IBMs with the ports yeah. in the front and all that, all that stuff. And there's the deluxe joystick and the color mouse, too. Oh, awesome. That deluxe joystick is a must-have for those because most of the games yeah. support that uh, analog joystick. Um, yeah. But, man, that thing does look really good. That is pristine. Looks great. Oh, yeah. The Commodore looks good, too. Yeah, well, I cleaned that from head to toe. It didn't quite look that good when I got it, but uh, right, but yeah. <laughs> cool. That is that is awesome. Well, thank you for showing those off. And you know what? We missed our introduction in the beginning. This is Jason Holland. Very good. Thank you for being a Patreon subscriber. It means a lot to us. Oh, no problem. You guys are great. The three of you guys have great chemistry, and the show is always always look forward to it every month, every, every twice a month, right? Fifteenth. Yeah, the twice a month. Yeah. We, we we divided it up to make smaller episodes, but those episodes like amoebas became bigger and bigger. And so now we have two big episodes every month. <laughs> yes, yes, you guys do. But it's it's real good, real good podcast. You guys do, all three of you. Works great. Awesome, Jason. Well, thanks. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. And uh we will uh talk to you again soon, I hope. All righty.